and there we go. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Yeah, crash the game. <laughs> it took a second to load. Um, today we will be play. Well, we're replaying. I have to say, Outer Wilds. Now I played this a long time ago. Um, but I actually streamed it as well. It was one of my earlier videos, but I never finished the game. So I decided today, you know what? There is a new DLC. The DLC is already pretty old, but I'm just gonna get the DLC, play the game, and we'll see how that goes. Let's see. I have it right. Uh oh, I broke it. I broke my YouTube. <laughs> well, not my YouTube, I broke my browser. Again. That is so typical. And hello, PSI. How are you today? Fuck up. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. No worries, we're just about to start. Um, There we go. Now it's finally loaded. Like I played this over a year ago. And I never finished it. So I thought, let's do it. Let's finish it this time, hopefully. I sound like I'm Dutch. I guess I am Dutch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I lagging? I think it's just my model. There we go. Whee! Something gets shoved in outer space. That's about all I remember. I remember playing this with... Um, Yes, my model. It... I think I know why. Um... Wait, this one doesn't have... Uh-oh. Let me at least... Set them lower for now. See if that helps. Otherwise, I think I might know what is going on and I need to go into the files. Because, of course, it happens as soon as I... Stream it, not when I'm testing everything. Okay, it seems like my model's a little bit better. I need to lower it a little bit more. Uh, but what I think might be going on is some games, especially games like these, have a tendency to put your frames at uh, unlocked. That was the wrong button. I shouldn't have pressed that. It's not one frame per se, yes. Oop, let's do half. All mediums. Some lows. There we go. Hopefully. It's still not great. There's our pilot. Back for your pre-launch. Okay, now I need to. It, it keeps lagging as soon as I'm out of the game. I even know where I have to find... Well, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... Other worlds. Most of the time when it happens, you have to change the settings. It's in app data. But I'll just look it up. Um, there we go. Other worlds. How can I lock it? I'll change the resolution to 1080. That is true. I am streaming it in 1080, so that should work as well. You search fanboy and got the stream. That makes sense. <laughs> I can't go out of the pause screen, but I'll talk to you later. There. That is a really good one, changing it to 1080. Let's see if that helps. Okay, yeah, that fixes it. Thank you, forward. <laughs> um, where are the launch codes? Bonesfield has the launch codes. You pick them up at the observatory, like usual. I'm starting to think they live there. So we're looking for Hansward. Okay. Space to jump. Whee! Oh, I can hold space. That's why it's so confusing. Okay. I'm used to if I press space, I jump. But if you hold it, you just crouch a little bit and then 
basically charging up. What is this? Fly ship. That didn't go well. <laughs> okay, let's reset that. Uh, what what are the keys? Okay, left control down, shift up. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, almost. If you would track my location, what would I do? I don't know. Hup. Yeah, I might need to reset it. I, I at least want to land it once. I'm awful at landing it. I don't think I'll be able to land it. For some reason, it gets kind of a... in an angle. There we go, I landed it. Perfect. <laughs> Due to leap. I do remember that as well, that the music in the game is really good. A little bit on the loud side, but good. I guess they can afford to be a little bit on the loudest side because you don't really have any voices in the game. As far as I've noticed, who are you? Dr. Ruthal. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explore as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program certainly came a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. Of course, that's how good I am. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Yes. Who are you? Come on. So it's lunch day, huh? I was going to miss you. Speaking of lunch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time that we get some new ones? Less black purple? <laughs> that would make sense, yeah. The big three in the village would be a perfect location. It would, I wouldn't mind helping out. Space program. Just say the word. The current launch pack is fine. Oh, maybe someday needs a new porch or something. A big one. He just really wants to cut down the big three. Yeah. It's all gonna be, oh, okay, yeah, have a good launch and stuff like that. So we're just gonna ignore them. Ooh, a fisherman. I do like fishing. Huh. I remember when, um, when I was in Canada. Um... Big difference between Dashi and me in that stand because I actually manage to catch a fish. <laughs> Take a snapshot. Okay. Danger. Inside the fence of the pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that is invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that we can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving to a ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Well, yeah, fair enough. Who are you? Hey, I thought you might see you before your big launch. Never gets never gets better for you, right? Like you were nervous for your first flight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you and me. In the end, it's faster space, but really, you do fine out there. I would more worry about the ship. If I were you, hopefully, that Lunatestix late at least fix the retro rockets. 
So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave. And you need to repair it. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift into the cave, or don't. Okay, we're gonna try that. And hi, Wiz, welcome. We're gonna repair it. That way we can get used to the zero-g. It almost looks like space with all those cute little lights. Press F for flashlight. There we go. Flashlight would be useful if it's dark. Zero G cave. Suit up. Whee. Oh, I need to press buttons. Elevator goes fast. Yes. <laughs> Into the hole. Whee. Bonk. Zero out of three repairs. Hold R and mouse to... Oh, that's where I can turn around. Okay. Press to lock. Oh, space to match velocity. That's nice. Boop. Fix that. And I'm back to this game. Yes. Uh, because last time I didn't finish it. I did not even get close to finishing it. So, I thought, you know what? Let's get back to it. Match its velocity. There we go. Oh, no. I want to play this game. But apparently there's a lot of stuff to get spoiled on. Oh, I'll believe that, yeah. All I know is that it's a heavily rich game. Story rich game. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> Where's the last repair? On top? Inside? I don't know where I am anymore. That zero G stuff, like... It gets confusing quickly. Oh, I hear it. Somewhere. Getting softer again. So I can't watch up. No worries, that's totally fine. I get it. Trying to look for that last piece. Hiya, Luca. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dragon Ball. Boom. Ah, uh, you so dead. Maybe inside. Oh, it's inside. Press to lock on. There we go. Connect the cables. Simulation complete. Starting to get it. Now where was the exit again? Over there. And we're being thrown out. Oh, I didn't even pay attention, but we have few, yeah. We have few levels. Ah, that's okay. Return the suit. Because we are nice like that. And let's go up. It is a fast thing. It's nice. I like fast ships. Even though if it goes this fast, I probably would get nervous. You know those butterflies in your stomach type of feeling? I'll probably get that. Nicely done, of course. It'd be a little bit more stressful when you are hurling through space. But just remember, you're trading. And try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off to the rocket. So I get the launch. So go get the launch code from the observatory and get here. Get there already. And hey, Ravelte. Welcome. How are you today? How was Amsterdam? <laughs> go get it. We're gonna go get it. Oh yeah, now I don't have the spacesuit anymore. I guess that's the observatory, the one with the big telescope out. 
You feel how am I? I'm doing well. I'm a little bit in pain with the tattoo, but for the more well. So those were the first guys, and then... Oh, well. Where's the code? Um, I went, you went to a concert? Ooh, that's fun. They were really good. I'm happy to hear that. You're the guy? Yeah, you're the guy. There you are. I just finished the pre-flight observations. And location conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Well, getting that to itself wasn't painful. But right now the healing process is just... Because it's so big on my leg. Uh, walking hurts. Until I walk enough. Sitting, like right now... Um, I can't have my leg underneath me. I can't have my leg in certain positions that I'm used to. Just kind of annoying. But. Yeah, that's about it. I'm still in the healing process. Like, I just got it. Like, I got it yesterday. So, it still hurts. Which is fine. Um, fun fact. As well. Uh, my tattoo artist. Waffle wags her tail in excitement. <laughs> Whoa, wezzers. Wait, that's all Waffle says now? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, my tattoo artist actually told me that he would love to do a whole sleeve on me. Um, because my skin is soft and it absorbs the, ink, absorbs the ink really, really well. So he doesn't have to pass over it multiple times, which he had to do with Dashi. Like, we had about... He was thinking that the session would take about... Seven hours. Is that two? Only took four. And, uh... Yes, and also thank you for the subscription, Ravel Day. <laughs> uh, but you do it last yesterday. A little bit, yeah. Like, with the day, it starts to feel better. I can... Yesterday, I actually had felt the tattoo all the time. Nowadays, if I lay on my bed, so that, you know... Um... Really simply said, the blood flow doesn't go too much to my leg. So if I'm laying down, it doesn't hurt. But as soon as I'm standing up, so my leg goes underneath my body, it starts to hurt because all the blood is going down as such. That's when I'm feeling it. Then after about 20 minutes, I starts to, you know, get used to it and it's fine. But yeah. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomia Translator 2. I confess. I'll begin the all day thinking about it. We're better at crit than ever to unravel the mystery of the Nomai. You and Halls should be very proud to work at it. Waffle wags tail happily. Waffle is great and ready to play. I'm gonna have to add that Waffle says woof woof in the end. I forgot to do that yesterday. Um, tell me, what are your plans on the other space? Uh, I'll meet up with the other travelers. I'm going to learn more about the Nami. I want to go somewhere where no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. Let's do that. Waffle you thinks prefer... Whisker is fluffy brain. But Waffle loves her. Oh, I forgot to tell Waffle that I'm a guy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a whole other thing. I haven't updated. I probably should have updated that as well, but... I'll just send a screenshot to you, Rafael Pay, and if you say things might have to change, uh, then just tell me and I'll send you the text or something like that. Oh, wrong buttons. There. Ooh. Fluffy Brain, yes. Uh, fluffy Brain, I told Waffle Fluffy Brain is basically that I'm, you know, not that smart. That Fluffy Brain is the nice way of saying I'm not smart. But yeah, these are all the settings that I can change. If you say, oh, okay, maybe you should change that to that. Then I would love to hear. <laughs> there. Um, do you think you'll get the altar lock then? Our moon, which is a safe place to travel and to go to. Barely in space. I'm sure Exit would appreciate the visit. Plus, we don't know what the ancient dummy ruins on the moon are. Or... They were built. 
You could put a new translator tool to P. Okay, yeah. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You need the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before they make any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. That's good. So yeah, and we now have a special machine. This one where we can translate stuff with. We nearly ready. Felix and I have finished the construction and she's calibrating the device. Won't take long. Fortunately, the other locks lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time, I'm thrilled. Finally resuming our search. So now we can read those. Monkeys. Wait, what is that actually? I guess those are the... Um, how do you call them again? Afterlock? I forgot how they were called. But yeah, because I've already went through this, I know what this does. Uh, basically, it just saves my save point. Launch code dash dash stripe dash dot dot stripe dash dot. Okay. Wait, there was a fast way to the... What is over here? Have I been here? I have been here. Yeah, I just took the long route last time. Oh well. Where's the ship? Ship underneath me? I lost the ship. <laughs> um... This might not be a good idea. I didn't even leave the planet and I died. You're supposed to leave the planet and then you do something dumb and die. But no, I just die right away. At least I have the launch codes. I think. Yes, I still have the launch code. Hold up. You're going to want to get the launch codes from the observatory. I already got them. Hmm. Must be inhaling more fumes than I realize. That stuff is poison. Well, if you get the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. We will. Launch code is MDN. Oh. Interesting. Uh, so we don't need all that stuff. These ship blocks. Okay, these are all the planets we can visit. And then we also have a um, extra, which is I also have the DLC. I have no clue what to think about that because I just downloaded it and it said good luck. You, some people find it a little bit of tense, so it can be frightening. What do I have to press? Hold left shift. Okay, and we're going to our moon. A satellite. So we're looking for our moon. I think that's our moon. Right there. Press the lock on. Oh, it also tells me what direction to go to make sure that I actually get to it. Maybe slow down a little bit. 30 kilometers an hour seems fine, right? There's some smoke over there and a rune over there. Okay, we'll probably be pulled in by the atmosphere. How do I turn around again? There's something over here. Oh, wait. See, landing mode. There we go. I would say it was a good landing. How do I get... Oh, yeah. There you go. Unbuckle. Get the suit on. Open the hatch. And there we go. We are in outer space. That's the planet we came from. 
We're almost at the North Pole. Oh, I have jets in here. Oh. Ow. There we go. Read. Take a single up, day 48. Still not picking up Rebecca's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel better once I can hear the music. Listen to Caterplay for a while, unrelated. Some people should tell when they go to their floating is not suitable for a aerial perspective. So it's basically just a lock where everybody is, I guess. Wait, what is this? Again. Oh! That way I can find people. Oh. It's cute. Unknown. 50 meters away. Kind of got how the controls work. Put away. Hello there. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anybody. Would the other travelers come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less spherical and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes up on things. Sometimes, Jared comes by and says hi. Gilberu is... Gilberu. And you know how Rebecca feels about unnecessary space flights. Don't go. Um, I mean, anything else you want to ask? What's that you're listening? Probably, or actually, definitely, the other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up the music with the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great perception. The North Pole is marked on the red on your minimap. But the afterlock is pretty small. Moon. Really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Okay. There was also something else. Like that's the north pole. And he said go to the south. I did see something else as well. So we should probably travel. I like the minimap. Like it's a 3D map. Pretty interesting. Oh. Wait. I'm going too fast. I'm leaving the planet. I don't want to leave the planet. <laughs> oh, over here. What is this? Wee! I saw that icon. What's happening? Stop turning around. Is it not stopping to? Okay, it's not stopping turning around. Let's put it in something else. Let's put it in you. Okay, so it points at the sun. Oh, and it echoes the sound. Ooh, what is that? Over there. That doesn't sound terrifying at all. And that one. Ooh, that sounds imminent. Okay, I know enough. Okay, so these are the things that we can read now. Hold translate. Colors, I was upstairs testing the eye signal left. And I can hear a follow the signal from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. Okay. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal located to follow the eyes signal. 
The device indicator rotates wildly and never points in just one direction. I see, I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Private. My apologies. And I will make adjustments. And I'll try again. Ah, uh, update. This point, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to proceed this, my friend. But I believe the locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Okay, so that's what we're hunting. That's what they were hunting for, I guess. This is quite a result. It is possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. That might also be a possibility, I guess. So what I know is, well, is it can grab these. These are scrolls, so we put them in walls. And it draws automatically. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Enelia and the others use was originally stranded on Amber Twin. Build a quantum moon locator. They are built there. But the heat of the sun made it made its construction challenging. It wouldn't recommend building it on that planet. So they might have tried to build it on that planet, but they never finished it. Okay. Because it was too hot. The Sound and Glad Sears on Brito Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed location. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Colony would enjoy that immersely. He always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. Okay, lots and lots of information. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot one. Then, will we build it? Then, where will we build it? Don't lose hope. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. So, are they saying that the eye is near here? Ooh, comment. Okay, now where did I park my ship again? Wait, is that my ship? No, that's... I hope that's not my ship. Oh, that's because... I like it, like... We're getting now on the dark side of the moon due to the... That earth thing being an... Oh, or is it just an old ship? It's not my ship. I parked closer to the North Pole, I think it was. I like using the jets. Makes me oh yeah, there's my ship. Whee! Oop. I guess we found everything out about the moon. Let's see. We uncovered a lot of stuff. I signal locator. So we can now go to the moon and... Okay, so we have more to explore on the eye signal locator. There's more to explore. So we go back there. That's how we check if we explored everything, I guess. Or not. Yeah, okay, yeah, we have to explore more on the moon. There's also some... Harmonical signal. We don't know where the harmonical signal comes from. Isn't that just one of our friends? Just... Okay. I guess we can figure that out. Oh yeah, hi honey. I almost forgot to say hi. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess we go back to the... Eh, I'm gonna use the ship. Refill jetpack and buckle up. Did 
There we go. We want to go to the South Pole instead. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of a rough landing, but good enough. Boop. What did I miss here? Or did I miss nothing and I just... Oh, one piece of text. I really should look better at the text. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately. So Brittle Hollow South Pole is where the construction is in on the Twins is where there was construction, but they canceled it. Might still be information. What is this? Oh, wow. Wow, I've seen this ruin in all the travel pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Naomi locator. It can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool. But the way... By the way, uh, this is cool, really cool by the way. But for what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. Yeah, we found out it was the eye. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the south pole of the Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there. See if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna go back on the old ship. Take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Ship lock updated. Okay, was that all that we missed? One piece of text and the recorder? And hi, Camouflage Cat. Oh, Cam, how are you today? Why is Waffle not responding to you? Oh, I know why. You have to start the sentence with exclamation mark Waffle. Waffle doesn't read um, after the first word. If it's not exclamation mark Waffle. Let's check that again. Did it update? E, few rumors. No, uh, C. Yeah, okay, now we figured out everything. The fact that we don't know everything about our own thing. We need a harmonic signal. You just woke up. Good morning. I hope you had a good night of rest. How do I get out of the map? There. Keep pressing Q. Put the suit back. And I guess we're gonna go back to our island. Find a whistle. Uh, press to lock on. And then I can press space to be in sync with it, right? Velocity matched. Are there any other tools I can use? Equip signal scope. Yeah, I need the harmonica. 600 meters, which would be on the other side. Oh, I'm so getting used to the controls still. Oh. Oh, that looked interesting. Oh no, I'm about to crash. Never mind. I'm not crashing. There's a Monica here. Ow. Land it. Nailed it. <laughs> it is actually 10 to the AM. Oh, that's not that late. Wait, this is my island. I could just... Yeah. Are you the one playing the harmonica? No. It's the plant. Okay, interesting. What do you think? Hello, hatchling. Thought you were... Taking that thin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and I didn't like what I was seeing. In the picture, uh, my little sky was sent back, so I thought I'll come back here myself and take a look. So, what crashed? I don't know it exactly, but... Like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Heart before. And trust me. I'm quite the explorer back in the day. You 
think it's extraterrestrial. It kind of looks like something that comes of dark bramble. Whatever it is, it's put down its roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of the thing. Hatching and... That's a fact. I think I'll set... Waffle wags tail with head pats. Waffle is good and wants treats. <laughs> uh, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than the three keeper can. That's true. That's a guess. I don't know. I have to get a look at what's inside of the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hack up a potential dangerous plant, but a better idea of what is inside. Turbo can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, to open it, the opening is too small for someone to fit in. And anyways, I'm not going blindly stick my hand in anything that looks as some plastic as plan. That's a good way to lose an armor too. Yes. And whoop. So that was the harmonica. The dark bramble seat. More to explore here. Okay, let's look around a little bit more, I guess. I always forget how to get out of the map. Let's just keep pressing Q. Do I have any other tools? It said press Y for this thing. But... I don't think I can get in, right? No. Wait. Do I have a waffle outfit now? Yes. Uh, I made it live on stream. I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna make um, one of my outfits. I call it waffle outfit. It's one of my fanboy outfits that I made... Um, but instead of a uh, kohai on it, I made it with waffle on it. I don't think there's anything specifically here, but I would love to check out that big hole thing that we saw earlier. No clue where it is. Oh yeah, don't worry, it will still change. It's a little bit broken right now. Of course you can see. It will change any minute now. I need to fix it. It takes a little bit longer nowadays for some reason. Something over here. There we go. What is that? Okay, we're gonna go for a landing. Press C. Check it out. This looks like a good spot. Oh, it's there. Thank you. Yeah, let me show you it in full because now it's just in small. Uh, let's see. Finian. Close that. But there we go. This is the full outfit. So tie highs, a skirt, and a waffle shirt. <laughs> there we go. Oop. Oh. Oh, there are geysers here. I guess I can't park my thing here then. I'll move it a little bit forward. There we go. Oh, I can turn the headlights on off. Oh. Oh, it's that thing. That's probably a gravity thing. Rock. Under that signal nearby. How do I identify? Ooh. Quantum fluctuation. Is there anything? Change frequency. What is that? So now it doesn't make But now I can... Oh, okay. I can just choose between... Oh, okay. I can choose between Outer Wilds, Quantum Fluctuation. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Another one. What do I need with the shots? Where's my ship? Moving. Wait, wasn't there a rock there? Oh, quantum rock. Okay, I get it. I think I get it. Which is weird. Why do we have quantum rocks? 
so the theory about quantum is uh, quantum theory is uh, how do I explain it again? Yeah, that exactly. Something is and isn't at the same time. Um, I'm just gonna follow this path. So if I'm correctly, the way that it works is if something is in a quantum state, that means that it is there and it isn't at the same time. Only when it's observed, you know if it is or it isn't. Which gets really confusing really, really quick. Um, a good example is Schrodinger's cat. So you have a cat in a box with poison. And as long as we have the box closed, we don't know the state of the cat. So... Oh, the sun is red now. Is there not a moon there? Eh. Read. Um, I've detected a straight signal coming from somewhere within the roof in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by a quantum moon. And single tech, hi, welcome. How are you today? You don't understand this game? It gets really complicated really quickly. <laughs> That's all I know. You work with quantum stuff and um, puzzles. But I just started, so there is not a lot that I know myself. I'm very similar. You're good, I'm happy to hear that. It's very similar to the signal augmented by the quantum moon. So there's a moon that also is there and not there at the same time. Okay. So it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon seeing as we no one ever been able to land on it. But hopefully studying the signal in the groove will reveal more about it. Out of what's your favorite game? You have ever played so far. Ooh, I have high expectations now of the game. <laughs> okay, so there is somewhere a crew where we have to go. Now that I know that I can you know, signal for it. 90 meters. 370. Oh, yeah, I have my jetpack on. I can just jump down and do that. Oh, there's a case just wait. Is there another way? That's where I came from. That one is far away. Oh, that must be the quantum moon. If I look away. Or not. Oh no, I remember this. If the music starts, the game is over. <laughs> it depends entirely on how much you like exploration. Me personally, it's my favorite thing ever. Yeah, I've played this game a little bit before, also on stream, like way back in the day, like a year ago. But I basically forgot everything and I never finished it. That's the big part. I never finished the game. So I know only a few small bits and pieces. Like that this means the end. But we're gonna see it. The moon or something like that was gonna explode. Press to lock on. That's about all I remember about stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, new series, right? Yes, this is going to be a new series. And now that the music is over, the sun died. So yeah, that's the end. <laughs> and I remember that we respawn afterwards. Where we get consumed by the... By everything. Yeah, so it's a time-based thing. We have to do everything in time. But... 
we can go back to where we started. And we still have the knowledge that we have. But nobody else remembers, if that makes sense. Why the statue chose us, I don't know. Uh, plot armor. I guess. So it's, now I think of it, there's one thing I forgot to do before stream. And now I have to do it. <laughs> and that is, I have to pee. So I'm gonna be right back. Uh, where's my be right back thingy? Oh, there. TCC, and I'm gonna type after that. Be right back. Maybe make it a bit of a different color so it's easier to read. Yeah, good enough. But now it's blue. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm really quickly going to go pee and then we're going to go on. There we go, I'm back. And actually, that is a really good one. I should have just... Oh, wait, he's not in the car anymore. <laughs> um, they... That she isn't in the room. I'm just... Moving my leg a little bit. Because he's playing with friends. Now I remember. Boop. Uh, discard, discard, boom. There we go. Death by Supernova. Kind of beautiful. In a way it is, yeah. Up we go. And whoop. Did we, in the end, discover more stuff? Quantum Cove, Quantum Moon. That's about it. I still wanna see that iceberg thing that I saw. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's the Quantum Moon. Quantum Moon. Carter's research notes mention the Quantum Moon that uh, no Hartian has been able to land on. So we need to find a way to land on it, I guess. I mean, shouldn't we just constantly look at it and we can land on it? Maybe we need a second person for it. Okay, so we checked out this thing. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Wait, is this what I was looking for? No, not these ones. I was looking for the big one. Where is that big one? Also not there. This is back home. So last time I went that way, now we're gonna... That is the weird thing, we have to think it's 3D. What is that? Oh, there it is. Wrong one, that way, that way, there we go. We're first gonna go here, because we're here anyways. Boop. Okay, let's see what this is. 
an old little shack. Satellite angle 248. Satellite angle 300. Satellite angle 40. <laughs> I like the one. Satellite angle 137. Oh, ah, we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite. I am about to view the first batch of photos. Let's record. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer World Ventures has. Ah, the printing. The printing, here they come. Stars above. Will you look at that? There's Britain Hollow, and look at that, Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant Deep and and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless, completely speechless. Every single terrestrial, terrestrial body. Uh, my phone is going to die. I have to see you later. Okay, bye. Yeah, my flash card. Have a good day and have yeah, have a good day. <laughs> you just you started. Um, now this is art. I could stare at this photo forever. Doesn't Timber... Doesn't Timber Heart look... Turning from here? Hold on, what's that? That can't be right. I mean, that's not even possible. I am intercepting this photo correctly. What's even stranger is that it doesn't show up in either of the other photos. Just in this one. Well, there must have been a equipment malfunction I suppose only the sample explanation for it already O'Gara had asked him to examine the lens for defects so it must be it something that doesn't show up in all of them that is a green thing asteroid Guess that's the twins. So we have that green thing, asteroid, and I'm looking for the twins. The twins, yes. Wait, what is that over there in the bottom? That's our planet, something, and the moon? Or is that our planet, something, and the... No. So that's that. Where's our planet? I guess this is our planet and the moon. I don't know what I'm looking for. And it must be in this picture specifically. It must be the black spot, I guess. We have that green one, the green one. And the quantum moon is at the green one. Which we don't see here, but we see now there. So the quantum moon is switching places, which is fine. Then we have the twins. The twins. Yes. Wait, no, that's... That's the twins. And the quantum moon. Then we have our planet and the moon. Our planet and the moon. But that moon with that light ball. The moon with the light ball. The asteroid. The asteroid. And the plant island. Yeah, that is different then. Okay. And that's at angle 40. So I might want to remember that. Is there anything in this forest? A smoldering campfire. Yeah. Despite my checking on the on them at least a thousand times over, the image are still not ready to print over in the tower radio. Well it like it's like they say a watch satellite never transmits data. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time management is slow to a syrup crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, after to Gebro, our resident expert of leisure, leisurety, willing away the hour, who recommends the following. Light a nice cozy campfire. Gaze deeply in the severe warmth. That time becomes slipping by. If Gabriel knew I take a note, he'll probably think I finally cracked, but I refuse to accept. Says 
from an astronaut who deliberately burned their marshmallows? That's a good question. Burned marshmallows? Brown marshmallows? Or just, um, like you put it in the fire for a few seconds so it doesn't even change color? But just warms up. I personally would go for long enough that they brown a little bit. I think I would like that. Okay, now we're gonna go to that big hole thing. Which was right. Ooh, quantum moon. And out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> and where was that iceberg thing? I saw it last time I was here. You're not going to tell me I already lost it again, right? Oh, I see it. I see the other way it's there. Can I... Okay, please let me turn. There we go. Oh, wait, there's more to it. I guess that's an entrance. Maybe I should land over here. Okay, these controls are somewhat hard. Okay, let's match the velocity. It helps me a little bit. Make sure I'm also standing perfect. There we go. This will make it a little bit easier. Boop. Perfect landing again. This time I'm going to turn up, put on my spacesuit. It's way more fun being able to fly around. Whee! What is this? Boing. A white light. Am I supposed to hold this? No, not this one. Um, I don't know. Oh well. To this part we go. Oh. Ow. Nailed it. <laughs> so what? We're supposed to go through. Typical game style, always look behind the waterfall. Yep. Always look behind the waterfall. Even though they didn't really hide it because the bridge was sticking out. Ooh. Wait, is the water flying? Oh, yeah, there's probably a geyser. Mining site 2B. So there's also a mining site... 1A or 2A. Boop. Whee. What if you turn on my flashlight? Ooh. What is that? Is that a skeleton? I think that's a skeleton of one of the creatures. Oh, it's pushing me down hard. Okay, I guess I'm going in that thing. But I'm underwater now, right? It's so confusing with how dark it is to actually see where I'm going. There we go. Hop. This is the same as it, our ship. We could just get in here and we get thrown up. There we go. Now we're at the top. No clue what I want to do here. Ooh, there's text over here. We can go left, we can go right. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ashen Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining tower being built on the Ashen Twin? The completed tower I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from the Ashen Twin. The ore we are mining here will be used to craft a immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside the ash twin core i'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber's hearts or only for constructing the shell if eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced Metallurgically, I'm convinced we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Okay, so they actually keep kept us in mind. So we were 
creatures before when they arrived, but we weren't smart enough. Like, we were kind of like dogs or something like that. Or if they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they plant a core dingoli. I thought you had forbidden. You appreciate for making puns. Okay, so he was making puns. How else would he improve? Okay, okay. So they were creatures when we were non sentient. Um, I guess I need this thingy. Oh, that is trippy. Let's grab this thing. Should also be able to put it in here. The Ascent Twin Project. Ooh, it's orange. Uh, my gratitude for the last shipment. Oh, yeah. The uh, name, Oyon. I don't know. This ore should be the last we need for the Ascent Twin Project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'll be delighted to help. Would be grateful if you would. It, it would be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ascentry project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances remain. So we can't get in there. Remy, I will be able checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Okay, so they sealed off something in the twin core. Which probably was the thing that we saw in there. Which is interesting, because why were we able to still see it then? If they don't want us to know or see, why do they leave that behind to still know and see? Oh, okay, this was... I still want to go down over there. Or is this just a different way... Yeah, this is just a different way. Okay. We've explored everything in here, I hope. Let's go for some real exploration. Go to a different planet. Now, to which planet to go to? We have a lot of planets to choose from. That's the thing. Ow. 50% fuel remaining. That's more than enough to get back to the ship. Whee. I like using the systems to fly around. And whoop. Ow. And there we are. At the ship. We can just press this and we get our stuff back. Okay, where next? Oh! I can open a map like this. That's interesting. We Let's look at the sun. Ooh, the sun is already getting red. That's our moon. We've already been there. Let's go to that hollow one. I might want to slow down. Going 200 kilometers an hour might be a little bit too fast. Or not. Nailed it. 
Ooh, there's a light up here. Beacon of light. I probably want to check that out. I don't think I could... Jeez, that's loud. Okay, let's go down. Let's get as much information as we can. Is this? Oh, is everybody unarmed? Unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. At least we've heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3. No, I'm not unable to make contact. Oh, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signal however if it's any comfort both pods must be structurally intact i'll continue calling them my gratitude if you can patch the moon is approaching again everyone brace yourself swiftly the volcano moon has returned be cautious of falling ash and debris i believe the moon is past okay so the moon Oh, I'm laggy again. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guessed. I'm certainly unwelcome on the surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcano moon won't be gone for long. I observe several promising sites below the surface. But we need to construct a way for everybody to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we can build a platform. Am I still lagging if I'm not in the tech section anymore? I'm not, because it's a tech section that still makes me laggy. Oh, because it probably passes the game. Follow the laser. Or cable, I guess. Oh. It goes in the ship. So I guess we check out the ship. That must be the volcano moon. Too close to target text. Launch. Escape pod 3. Launch. Escape pod 2. Launch. Escape pod 1. Alert. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Um... Bad luck. Escape pod 1 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency secret activation. Await departure from vessel. Wait, I just want to read that. Escape pod hatch. Wait, why did they not open the hatch? Oh. It's just an easy way to go on the here. Boop. Boop. Wait, is that a black hole? Uh-oh. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Yeah. Kind of figured. So, jumping over the things is fun, right? And fine. I don't know who made this design, but. I don't know why you would want to, you know, live underneath a black hole. Okay. Off note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though the area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by the meteor impact. Okay. Ooh, that, that's the logo of the eye, right? If I remember correctly. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything. Uh oh, the music started. We can relate about the signal we encounter while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nami clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything like in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We found this eye of the universe. We must find this eye of the universe. So the eye of the universe is something that was pre-universe even. So maybe the creation of the universe. The signal look like an eye. Round. 
with a circle at the center. Must be a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking at something. Oh, that's why they made it like that. So it basically was that and it was exploding. Is it bad if I kind of want to jump in black hole? What is this? Wait, how did I... Equip block. Oh. Retrieve scout. Can I still make pictures? Photo mode. Take snapshot. Oh. Photo mode, launch mode. Oh, that's pretty cool. Whee! Uh oh. That isn't good. So I can shoot it and it just goes somewhere and then it attaches on something. Okay. Let's recall it. I don't need it now for anyways. Um. Oop. Ooh, what is that? The eye called. Something grabbed us. Oh. So something happened to this mothership, I guess. And then they went off to the twins. One got grabbed. And one is here. Oh. Oh, yeah. The moon is red, red. It's going to explode soon. Oh, text. The pain of your absence is sharp and hunting. And I would give anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all. Which could be worse. I only hope that you are safe. Keek whatever you are. Aww. Kind of sad. But I came from there. Are we gonna make that jump? No. Maybe. Let's jump over a black hole. Actually, it's going pretty well. Oh! Nailed it! I don't have fuel left. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's a distortion of. <gasps> over there. I'm losing all momentum, but I might just be able to catch myself. I did. <laughs> no black hole today. <laughs> oh, banjo. Oh, yeah, there was somebody here. Wait, how did I do that again? Why? Where are you? There. Oh, you're right here. Hello there. Oh, you're launched. That's great. Great job, you. Ooh. Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you'll probably know that. Lots of history here. It's great. So what are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Wait, we have four eyes? Oh, I should, yeah. We're exactly the same as them. <laughs> um, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species existed. How could it how could I not want to see what the civilization was like? Only you've probably heard of the others saying it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody ever. But he's scared of space but still goes into space to see this island. That is courageous. Do you know? Do you want to know? How I ever even got here this far. I felt tripped over gravity crystal. A dumb luck. I landed somewhere my little scout says it's halfway stable. Instead of being stuck into whatever is below. I've been couching the stability of the ground around me using a little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best service integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move. Oh no, the music. I need to be quick. But that's enough about me and my problems. 
you didn't come here this way to listen to the blabbering, did you? <laughs> um, I learned something. What should I explore here? What are you doing out here? We're gonna go back here. So what should I explore? Oh wow. What should you explore here? Um, not the black hole actually. That's fair, you know. Which is unfortunately because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust of the hanging city. This is just north. You kind of see it from here. There is a big dome at the South Pole, South Observatory. You can't get inside the surface. Trust me. I tried, but it it's like the rest of the nomad structures here. There's probably a path to beneath. Okay, so we can go in from the bottom side. Good luck for exploring. If you learn anything about the Noia, I'd love to hear it. Okay. I kind of want to just... Take the jump to... I don't know what this is, but we're going to take the jump to here. I'm not going to make that, am I? Oh, no, I made it. Wait, is my ship still okay? My ship seems to be still okay. Oh. I think the moon is... The sun is exploding. Yep. Oh, okay. That was that white dot. So it's actually a white hole. It's a wormhole. Wait, what is that thing over there? I don't think I've seen that. Wait. What is that? Oh, that's a dark rainbow. What are you? I wasn't able to read what the name is. So many questions. So little answered. Yet, yeah, still. But, we'll just try again. There you go. I love the fact that it actually plays back everything you've done. That's pretty cool. I probably should check out that as well, why it's shooting something out, but... And why it in general exploded. What is my whole mission in general? Why did they send me into space? Hey. Yeah. Oop, dirty con the suit. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget. Check this thing. It's unique. It definitely is, yeah. So we found the radio tower, the mines, the Ashen Twin Project, Escape Pod 1, Old Sediment, these pedals, Rebecca's Camp, the Hanging City. Wow, we got a lot of information. So we don't know anything about the Bramble Sea, but we found out all of this, where there's no more to it. Think. Same over here. We still have a lot to discover. Yeah, we'd love to go to their observatory. We're slowly going to work our way out to, I guess, the comet. Pew, pew. There. So back to Hollow's Deep. I do love the fact that we, you know, can track everything in that iPad. Because that way, if I have to get stuff, I can always look it up. Oh. Mm. Perfect landing. Don't look behind you. No, wait. That one. Go down a little bit. Go a little bit more to the right. Go up a tiny bit. There we go. We're going with 500 kilometers. Oh, the quantum moon. I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Oops. Exit ship. Repair. Okay. The, the damage isn't too bad. The ship is not exploding. Uh, and I can repair it easily. Like that. Hold to repair. Hold to repair. the cockpit damage as well. I still hear that electrical... Oh, there. Camera. Hold to repair. Hold to repair the headlight. Not too bad. 
almost all of it was broken yeah. on the monitor. That, that, that's almost. Repair landing camera. That's the keyword. Almost. Wait, am I going down? I'm not going down, right? No, it just looks like it. Because we're turning. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here. Because we've already been down here. But this is the entrance. It seems. It's dark in here out of nowhere. It's probably because the sun can't really shine anymore. It's, you know, it's not as open as last time. Boop. Uh, this was the sun pain. Last time we didn't go this way. Let's go this way. Just a normal house. Just like you. Immature logic. Yes! <laughs> Why be mature when you can be immature, right? It's the hardest part of the strategy. Not knowing who we may have lost. Or will... Be the hardest part to come later when we learn. Ooh, that is a good. I that is philosophical. Damn, we're getting philosophical here. I personally would think that the unknown status is worse, not knowing what happens, because you always have the little bit of hope for maybe they're still out there, which is nice to have, but. If you can't use it, it will hurt way, way more. Oh, we're here. Okay. Last time we came from... I don't know the way. It looks also differently now that everything is okay and not broken. Okay, this is where we came from. That was right above me. I might need to be fast. Like really, really fast. I'm not gonna make it. Where's that crystal thing? There. Okay, we're gonna make that. Oop. Okay, we made it. <laughs> okay. Definitely not close or anything. What are these? The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Do I activate it by... No, that's... Oh, and I can probably... That... Wee. Oh, so that's the tower. Okay. I like it. And whoop, we'll be thrown in that. Wait, we can stand on this? Wait, are we supposed to get all the way up there? Oh, okay, so these are special tiles that we can use to go up. If we can. We welcome in this place. Above you stand the Tower of the Quantum Knowledge. If you were making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need to for your journey. So we can get to the Quantum Moon, but the answer is up there. And now we do this. I'm never gonna have enough power for that. Yeah, no way that I have enough power to get up there. Uh, let's see if this works. Let's see where this brings us. Or if I can use it. Entrance, okay, that's below. So we can't get in now. Can I? I can shoot you. I just accidentally grabbed the thing and then I realized. Oh, wait, I can shoot this. I can't get it up there. Is there any way of entrance? Oh! Oh, oh. Ooh, okay. We damaged ourselves a little bit. Up 
we go again. We're slowly running out of fuel. I probably need to go at my ship some point. For a second I thought my ship was maybe thrown into the black hole, which might still be possible that it happens, but... Oxygen tank refill. Ice. So now we're on top of the quantum tower. Okay. Um, beneath your feet lies the, the tower of knowledge. The tower of quantum knowledge. If you are prepared to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, the empty steps to the answers below, the knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Um, the trees are moving. The trees in the grove wander about freely. The entire planet, the roots, and all. This is not normal, even for the alien planet. And I never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses the disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are separate or my brain must be plumped. It's right. Trees move. I'm convinced I didn't notice until he said something. Oh, there. Oh, this is a huge quantum rock. That's why. I got a uh, shadow empty in Pokemon Go yesterday. Oh, nice. And also, hi, Pia. Welcome. <laughs> Plum Felix and I have determined this atmospheric shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I image the moon behavior and the groves are related. Makes sense. In here, note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't from elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Makes sense. Oh, big boom. Hi, pieces. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Off note. Unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend Wandering Moon sounds the same. So it probably is the same. Oh wait, there's more text. Sure that I don't lose the shard's sight. I also heard the same signal the shard produces calling out from the giant deep. Well, giant deep and timber heart and the hourglass twins. Suppose there are other shards like this. Okay, that makes sense. That's not good, dude. But, oh, I forgot again one. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as an unusual shot of rock moving the same way. More! I keep going too fast. That rock is usually for another reason to touch. It possesses the color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hi, Jesus. This rock shot percent is significant. We should study it. Yeah, okay, so that's basically before they go on that rock. Which, where is it now? There. What is this? Is this a jump on? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, the, the, the sun is getting somewhat red. I don't even know how long we actually have before it explodes. Oh, fuel level's critical. I probably should be careful. I don't want to try something. Oh. Ouch. I might need more fuel for that. Where's my ship? Wait, where's my... Oh, my ship's over there. Okay. Boop. I kind of want to walk one of the railings. You should never know what you find. Oh, what's over here? Where will this lead us? This one will... 
Who does to where? I think I have to choose. Choosing you. What is this? Wait, those are the same rocks in my ship. Can I? I can. Imagine knowing what you're doing. And now what? Maybe the original planet had more? Oh no, it's using oxygen instead. I might be doomed. I'm doomed. And what is that thing? Well, my ship is 12 kilometers away. Um, I'm guessing I'm going there. That's the only thing close by. 300 meters should be doable. Also, don't want to use too much oxygen. Okay, walkable surface right over here. Get to there. I'll try. I have to be careful. Oh, that looks like an entrance. I wasn't supposed to jump. Wrong buttons. Oh, that is bad. It's so hard to control. Punk, punk. I have no oxygen. I'm dead. Dead in space. <laughs> Hi, pancake. Welcome. How are you doing? F, F indeed. We did get knowledge. Don't know what knowledge. I already forgot it. But that's why I have the computer. L, yes. I deserve an L. <laughs> there we go. We didn't die. It only looks like it. Don't worry, you're immortal. Exactly. Meow, meow. Hi, Mario. Welcome. There we go. Put on the suit. Buckle up. Owner is. How are you, Mario? Okay. Let's find that thing again. Riddle Hollow. We are there. So that way. I think. Somewhere. That's the twins. There. Like. That. I probably should slow down by a lot. I'm gonna do C. Okay. I see some people forgetting to put on the suit and then immediately die. I can understand that. That's why I'm putting the suit on right away so I won't forget. Because I know I will forget otherwise. I forgot to. Perfect landing. No scratch whatsoever. I saw something interesting, however. Right over here. Boop. Cool new shirt, Waffle. Yes. <laughs> I'm fine. And me, I'm doing well. And I made um, I made this outfit. On stream because some people uh, were curious on how I did all my stuff and things like that. Oop. So I decided to make a stream about how I make outfits. Uh oh. I missed. There we go. We go here. The true heartening landing. Yes. The crossroad. What is this place? It looks interesting. Guess this is a dead end, so I'm just gonna wee. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. What is it shooting?
Oh. Oh. Wait. What is this? Can't beat that. I pressed the wrong button again. Oh, so we can... Okay. And hop. I just like reducing the jet fuel. Hey, Waffle, yes. Waffle now has a new... Um... Oh. Okay, there we go. That was... A little bit mind-boggling. But Waffle now... Uh, AI has been... Updated. So Waffles will sound a little bit differently. I'm still working on it as well, but... Yeah. <laughs> and Little Scout, my beloved. They are funny. They're pretty little things. <laughs> I am here. After... Watching it wander... The skies for so long. I'm about to stand. For the first time on the quantum moon. Oh. Wait, this ship was in the quantum moon? Oh, damn. As expected, my shuttle has landed on the moon's south pole. I will make the reminder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. That's just true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. I am ready. Okay, so that's somebody... Oh! Oh no. Wait, what do we do? Where are we now? Okay, we're back. What does that one do? Now I'm kind of curious. Okay, we shoot ourselves... Um, out. And now, nothing happens. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we gained knowledge. This ship was on the quantum moon. Until we stole it. I almost missed my jump. Don't make me miss my jump and fall on the black. <laughs> That's what you call making a... Doing an oopsie. We're doing something dumb. Crossroads, 350 meters. You could pilot the ship, by the way. It's just a bit. Waffle agrees. Ooh. Waffle thinks Whiskers' shirt is pretty. Oh! Uh oh. Uh, why do I keep doing stuff like that? Oh, wait, there's something over there. I should probably check that out. I didn't see that before. How do I get there? It seems to be above you. Can I make that? I can definitely not make that. Do you have fuel here by any chance? Step back fuel. Perfect. Oh, you haven't seen that one in the moon? Yeah, this is my new outfit. A cool pen, pal, bleh, pen pin, thank you. I made it myself. I also have it up for um, anybody that's interested in it. I had a good friend of mine, um, EB, that was interested in it. Because she's getting a Fear Red model as well. Uh, and I made... Uh, I sent it to her the one, but she is trans, so I made it a trans one. It's pretty easy to change. You just change the flag to the flag that you want. I just don't have a download platform yet. I probably should upload it on Booth or something like that. Give it a... Name, I don't know yet how I'm gonna do that, but... Okay, last time we were here... And then we did that, and we shot ourselves off. With this one. We went to the left. Now we have actually jet fuel, so now we can do stuff. Go up here. And now choose, I guess, which road. I'm gonna say over here for now. Boom, boom. There we go. We're getting there. 
Ooh, I guess there is here. Okay, so I need to... Okay, they have pretty good range. I almost left that up. Ghost meta detected nearby. Take a picture. Okay, so this stuff is ghost matter. I could do that. Ha! So how far? Okay, so it's those crystals that emit ghost matter. Boop. So we'll just jump past it. Easy peasy. And we get oxygen back. In. Oh, I see the crystals over there, but I kind of want to go up there. I want to check out the cool house. Ooh. Which way to go, though? On one side, I'm like, okay, I probably should follow those crystals. They might be a little bit harder to follow. So that's what I'm going to do. Have I thought to right back yet? Is that the guy from this planet? I've talked to the one from this planet. Wait, I have to go there. Oop. Oh, it is so confusing walking on the side of things. Where am I? Oh, yeah. No, I missed. Oh, I'm just... Wait. Could I land on there? Nope. Over there. Come on. Make it. 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 Okay, we're making it. We almost got hit by a rock, but we're making it. <laughs> banjo guy. Yeah, I've talked to the banjo guy. Uh. Okay, back here we go. Wait, was it here? Yeah, I think it was here. This was not the smartest idea, but we made it. I probably should have got more jet fuel. Ah, it's too late now. Let me get up here again. And we'll try that again. Now I know that I'm going to that ice structure. The plan is slowly crumbling, however, so we might not have that much time. And I'm wasting even more because I want to go fast. Ooh, that must have hurt. That sounded like it hurt. I should take it easy. By the way, the... Parthians have no concept of... Gender. So they're... Oh, they're they them. Okay. But well, that's good to know. Step. Oh. Oh. Um... In. This time I make a jump more carefully. <laughs> what does that one shoot me at, actually? I'm seeing it shooting me. That probably lands me off the end. I'm not paying attention. I really should pay attention in a game where, you know, you have to pay attention. Can I? I do have a lot of momentum. Ow. Never mind. I don't have that much momentum. Ow, again. But hey, we're still alive. Somehow. Don't ask me how I managed to... push stuff like that up. I'm good at it. Bonk. A lot of bonks. <laughs> That's not good. Feel like we might be getting a little bit too late with. Uh, I feel like the sun might explode soon. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just not able to find the sun easily. Wait, can I check it over here and still see the status of the sun? I don't know if that's the current status of the sun. Oop. 
uh, this one it was. This time I keep paying attention. So we go to this one. There we go. We jump up here. And jump on this one that seemed like was the better option. I don't know actually if this was the better option. Oh, we're... We don't have most of them anymore. Uh oh. Oh no, wait, we have enough. We have enough. There you go. I was just looking the wrong way. <laughs> That's also possible. What planet? So far, my own planet, the moon, and now this planet. So, nothing much yet. Remember the ghost matter? I'm curious if this game has a speed run with some crazy glitches. That's a good question. I feel like if you have already the knowledge of the game, you don't even need glitches. Well, maybe a little bit. Some people beat the game without using the ship. You can beat the game without using the ship. Wait, does that mean that the answer is on our home planet, maybe? Theoretically, that is a way that you could beat it without a ship. Uh, we have to go to this one over here and then go down. How am I supposed to make that jump? I'm not going to make it. Nope. In the black hole. At least now we have... You know. You can beat the game from the start if you know everything. That is insane. I'm going way too fast. My bad. There we go. Okay. Going slow and steady. I can turn around, right? Yeah. There we go. In the hole. Boop. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is... Do we not get a gravitation? Oh, there's gravity. What's that? Okay. Welcome to the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This... Warp Tower can return you to the Brittle Hollow. There we go. So I'm not the first one. <laughs> um, there is realistically orbital mechanics in this game. I know, yeah, you can swing yourself really, really far. I like it. Um, every Warp Tower is tuned into a specific astral body. A tower's wrap can only be used during the brief window when the towers align. With the corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform during this alignment warp. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happening when the astral body directly over it. Yeah, and you have a stable orbit with every planet in this game. Oh, that is really cool. Must be hard to find actually find it. I can barely see this thing move. Maybe I have to make a move. Twin project. Where am I supposed to? Probably downstairs. And I might have to move that thing myself. Where am I supposed to use this thing? Am I just taking this with me? I guess I'm taking this with me. Oh, wrong one. You like doing this with the sun. I can understand. It could be pretty cool. Wait, do I decide the direction with... Oh, okay. So I have to wait until I see Brittle Hollow. Oh, it's nice that my ship is on it. Wait. I want it to stop. Oh, okay. I get it now. So I can say which way it should turn. So let's say let's turn it that way. 
Then it's turning. Oh, and I just now need to wait. Until those two line up. And if we look up. You'd be able to soon. Yeah, there's my ship. That means it's also there as a brittle hollow. And. Are we getting shot out or. Oh. Oh, the same way as we teleport. Wait, is that what this is? Do you teleport us? Don't we have one on the main planet? We can teleport to the main planet. Equip translator. Warp station set. It's charged. Step into the step onto warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Okay. Time. Arrival time. Oh. That one goes up. This one seems to be broken. Equip. Hanging city, 50 meters below. Can I please use this thing? Oh, that's probably a teleportation between white hole and black hole. To our friends on <coughs> Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the white hole station on the other side of the Brittle Hollow's black hole. Um, our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. That is really cool. I don't know how close it is to Enno's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do this. Wait, this can't be correct. Charlie, have you seen these readings? If they are accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hall Station. If you and Ruth meet me there, we can run a full diagnostics and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kesafa. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Wait, did we already go through one? Oh, um, Remy and I reviewed the records you sent, Pook, and they appear to show Nomi are arriving at the warp, receiving on Brittle Hollow, slightly before departures from the White Station, though it technically time travel. As I've already told Remy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Nami arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? This Implementations are insert. I don't disagree. I would mean... It would mean... I've inevitably broken several fundamental theories regarding the universe. We would have... To re reconsider all of our beliefs... About nature and time. Yes, I hope so too. Uh, Pook. As Spy is convinced the reading is inaccurate... He kindly helping me attempt to receive the phenomenon... Of the high energy lab. We are designing an experiment to take more data. Update. Hook, the high energy lab is in the canyon of Amber Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but clearly, and I have tested a retested the equipment. As the result is the same, every some warps. Every time someone warps, the interval is increased, miraculously. Roughly 100 of a second. Do I you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a degree? So in other words, we can time travel. Are we finding out time travel? Oh wow, wait, what is this? I guess this is one of the two twins. There. Okay. Now where's my ship? 
400 meters that way. Fuel levels critical. No way, my ship is just falling. I just arrived. Bye, ship. What plans have I explored so far? This one. Um, our home planet. But also not to the max, I think. I guess I'm going to go down. But I don't have enough stuff. So I probably should go in that thing. Boop. Grab some more fuel. Wait. Was this here before? I'm going to use that. Did I just not notice these crystals before? Wow. I really didn't notice them before. Okay. Now I know. Uh, yeah, no clue what that means. <laughs> Let's see what this is. The Hanging City, 250 North. Okay, big jump. Hup. Easy peasy. Too far. You're kidding me. I just found something and I died. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so far I haven't explored a lot of cities yet. But I'll show you on the computer as well. Just to be sure. Just so I can show you this is what I've done so far. And, oh. I was supposed to press that. I still probably should check out that thing as well. But... Oh well. <laughs> Oop. Put on the suit. Wait. Wrong buttons. There. View the logs. We did get some knowledge. Tower of quantum knowledge. Tower of quantum shards. A lot of quantum stuff. Okay, we gained a good amount of knowledge. So we've discovered these two. And... We need to go to the Bramble, I guess, planet. To uncover more about the Bramble seed. The moon we've fully done. There are no questions there. And now we're over here. We need to go to the Southern Observatory. The Hanging City, which I now know how to go there. Uh, Gravity Cannon, there's more to explore, so I probably should do that. And also the North Glacier, there's more to explore. Okay. I haven't been to the Ashen Twins yet. I haven't done any of the... Wait. What is that? Oh, that, that's a space station. The Whitehall Station, yeah. Okay. We're gonna go back to Brittle Hollow. Now I know where to go and all. Let's see where Brittle Hollow is. That way. Supposedly. That's our moon. There we go. Align ourselves. A little bit up. A little bit more to the right. Should slow down. I already start looking at the planet. I'm still going too fast. 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 This ship can handle something. I gotta say. My landings have been awful. I like going fast though. <laughs> I go boom. 
Um, you, that was it. Let's repair it again. Landing gear. But that was it. We already fixed everything. Am I near the escape pod by any chance? That's probably where I want to enter. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, you sorry, Oh, the portal has still been damaged. Oh, that's an observatory that I can't enter, they said. Okay, that's this thing. I remember that. Actually, this is a good entering point. I don't think this is going to... Um, into the black hole. So there's still something damaged. But I don't really see... Oh, there. Now that I know what is damage, I can repair it from here. There we go. That's all okay again. Let's go to fast route. Let's do this. Woo! <laughs> and boom. Easy. Yeah, these crystals were here before as well. Interesting. Just that I didn't see them. Uh, the safe is from this side to... Could already be building. Oh, wait! It doesn't break early. Okay. I was waiting for that big jump that I needed to make, man. And I did the exact same thing again. You know what? I'm gonna commit. Boom. Easy. <laughs> Ooh, text. Okay. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomain clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. We can't go because we're stuck here. But Felix says we used to go to. At some of the festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the gnome may get to advance to. They get to advance to. Like Anya's warp core, which made it so everybody can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival. Envoy to show their most interesting work. A single festival could last a long, long time. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. Now I can take this one out, right? And then wait for that one. How do I jump the scroll? And read again. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made. But one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense. Tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to grow together. Form things like galaxies, stars and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is harder to think about for long, too long, without your brain hurting. My brain is already hurting. <laughs> this universe will keep getting colder and longer, until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Connie tells me it won't happen in our lifetime, but it happens in somebody else's someday. That is scary to think about.
Let's go. Wait. Did I see that right? Yeah, I see those crystals. Hold on. Um. Okay, I'm gonna walk with this thing around. Okay, that's all good. I don't want to accidentally step on ghost matter or something. Wait, haven't I been here before? Ghost matter nearby. Where? There. Wait, it's not being picked. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Boop. Dying is generally considered to be a bad thing. Well, it depends your view on it. I don't see dying as a bad thing. Uh-oh, I missed. Okay, I got lucky. Really lucky. Do I want to go up or down? I'm going to go down. Pick up scroll. And now up. It depends on how. I guess, yeah. I think a lot of stuff plays into that. Where's the texting? Including beliefs and things like that. Ghost might have detected nearby. I can't see it. I don't see the crystals and I can't take pictures. But I've been here before, so... I'll probably be okay. Oh, I could put them on the desk. This time. Drop scroll. Grab scroll. Drop it. Grab it. And put it in. Too close. Why we should build a new vessel? It probably won't be a hard... Get parts of... Parts if we stop building other new things, and if we broke down other structures like the towers on the tw Ashen Twin for parts, we might have to build a similar vessel for now. Even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we research the planet with more resources. It would also help if we stop building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow. And he said we use a lot of resources on the Ashen Twin project. We could even have a warp core from jumping long distances, like Fesselhab. Who tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core to a different project. For a different project, I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel. Each Nomic clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is a part is the heart of every clan. It's usually for Noe to remain in one place for so long. Noe are wanderers and have no permanent home. If we build a new vessel, we could return to our adventures adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go to. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in this star system. We could even meet with other Nomai and learn from them, like Cletus says we used to do. One of them is like, I want to build a new vessel, which makes sense. At some point you'll probably get sick of being here. Now how do I get back there? That's the big question. Oh wait, there's a bridge right here. Fifty percent fuel remaining. Oop. Cool district. Meltwater district. Ice shrine district. Oh. Black hole forge district. Wait, we have a black hole forge. What's a black hole forge? Okay, so we are in the school district. We'll just go one by... Oh, wait, that's not a smart one to do. Wait, that's a teleport place. Huh. 
Oh, we are now in this one. Melt water district. Okay, what is this district? Black Hole Forge controls. Ooh. Black Hole Forge controls. All I see is an up and a down. So let's do down. And it makes the thing go up. Okay. It's very fresh. Uh, makes sense, actually. <laughs> I thought maybe, you know, you put in, like, a forge, like, how do you call it again? Like you would do at a blacksmith. And you just throw metal down, to compress it, and combine it or something. I don't know. The asset for project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? I guess that's why we need the black forge. Black hole forge. Solution 2. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel warp core. Oh, that's not an actual. Oh, I thought that might be the actual answer. <laughs> Um, abandoning the vessel's warp core and its cost meaning losing valuable knowledge. This is this is true. However, its knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be the best if we relearn. I think the greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the desire for such a powerful core or anything of the original crafters of the vessel score. You wouldn't tell me anything before I explode. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> um, no, but Pook was apparent, uh, appreciated to Anoa, who created the original design and our black hole forge. It adapts and crafts simpler corp. There you go. We were right, though. <laughs> I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time. I don't know, I explained many of the designs to me. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search of the eye is a future one, we should choose the option with the least potential harm. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevant, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate a basic design. Okay. Another one. More text. Let's read it. Um, I feel strange trying to recreate Anero's warp core without him. At the time, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. And for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. The last time I've played this game was in 2021. It's been a while. Oh, I'll believe it. 2021 is a little bit ago. Like, <laughs> um, happy hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor deeply. You have the chance to try the thrilling. To try this is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own ability? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Anoas. Uh, warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've been of a larger portion than I can consume? So basically, um, I bit more off than I could chew. Still, all I can give is my best. As animals would say, uh, should my best prove insignificant, then we will find another way to achieve what is needed. I have 
clearly, clearly in root in my fort. And I have my clan, and I'm not alone. They really work a lot on, uh, what do you call that? Pomodori? I guess. They really like being with the clan. They work together well. And welcome back, Camouflage Cat. <laughs> Those you want. We could receive the warp core from the vessel. This route require a return to the dark bramble plum, my father. So many good dummies perish there. My mentor and his old mentor once discovered a study on anglerfish fossils on the amber twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossils we used to play in the fossil in the fossil fish cave when we were children. Am I also streaming on Twitch? Yes. I'm both on Twitch and on YouTube at the same time. <laughs> um, if you want, I can say that. For some reason, YouTube doesn't work anymore with my bots sometimes. But yeah, you can find my Twitch here. And the other way around. Oh. There. And for the Twitch site, you can find my YouTube there. There we go. <laughs> Um, what Malakar and I learned from the fossil would be theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken at the best, at the best, uh, recall those present when the vessel crashed, it said it sustained lethal injury. There is no longer a guarantee reward for this risk perhaps we could still repair it my grandmother told me there was a little time to assess the nature of accident of the damage okay let's go up because I saw something there as well boop, 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 boop. and up. oh wow we jumped up fast and easily it must be near the surface. Up we go. Going up really far. I like how they are squares. And this way I can put it down as well. Okay. But I can also jump down there. And up. And up. Put on the flashlight. See a hole over there. I don't know if I need to go there. Wait, are we outside? We are outside. Why are we outside? Ow. There we go. Has anyone observed the phantom moon? That sometimes greets us in the night sky. Your thoughts interest me. I complimented your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? I hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? It is I. I am on Twitch now. Welcome on Twitch now. <laughs> Taken tag. Single tech, yes. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. It is much like its violent friend, Alo's Lantern. Imagine if we were two volcano moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. The moon is, isn't is volcanic. It is my... To my innate eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for, night, for nights at a time. The night the moon circles the planet appears randomly. It seems to travel as it likes. My pieces. 
There can exist too much lava. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Okay, nothing here. I'm guessing over there. But this isn't this where I teleported to. Yeah, this is. Oh. That was right next to me. Phew, critical low. Well, that's not good. Ow. I just need to find the way back. It was somewhere here, I think. Oh, I think I see it. Nope. Yep. Okay, so we just found another entrance. Which seems to be a stable entrance as well. Ow. Actually, I probably should call it a easy entrance back to the Black Hole Forge. Which we are going right now to Ice Shrine District. Oh, I can see the gravity. I just realized I can see the gravity level. It's on my left. It's 1.1, 1 1.8 sometimes. Yeah, I probably need fuel. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough fuel to actually get up there. So I'll come back later here. We're gonna go to the top part. We can't go to the top part. Maybe this elevator. Also not this elevator. But what was the top part again? We don't have a sign here that tells us where. The last one is Black Hole Forge District. Oh, that's where the Black Hole Forge itself is. Yeah, how am I supposed to get up there? There must be a route. Probably. I just need to find it. That definitely looks like the eye. Now, I can do something risky, which I'll probably do. Oh, wait, I'm doing it the wrong way. Yep, wrong way. I'm done for. I'm gonna need to waste a lot of oxygen. Where's the thing? There. Yep, I'm out of oxygen. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That was a nice way to die, though. That kind of looked like a nice way to. Goodbye, soldier. Goodbye. <laughs> I feel like we got pretty close to the sun exploding anyways. Now I think of it, I probably wouldn't have made it anyways. Because I was thinking, oh, I probably could have also gone by the... Um, what do you call it? By the bridge, but the bridge was also broken. So I couldn't go by the bridge. I love the fact that he just doesn't care that I just walk off, instantly go up. Even though the first time he did say something. It must probably be a game thing that they were like, oh, okay, we're not going to have to repeat every single time. But we now have more knowledge once more. So to Brittle Hollow we go. And there we go. Align ourselves. This time, let's not crash. So I'm going pretty fast. And I'm going to go slower now. I'm already going to... Oh, look at that, the moon. Could I? Yeah, it's too late now. The quantum moon is gone already. It was out of sight. Wait, which part is this again? This is where the ship is. I kind of forgot where I need to... Oh yeah, Black Forge. 
So we are looking for the ice part, which would be either the south or the north pole. Uh, it's not going to be that one, so it's going to be in the north. I think. Right over here. I said it was a good landing. Up. And then it was over here. One, two. And up. Ow. I landed a little bit too hard, but not that hard that it, you know, hurts me too much. Here you go. What is the position of the black hole, George? Now my question is, what position does it need to be in for me to be able to go there? I'm just going to pull it up for now. Because that seems like the thing that you need to do, and then you can get there. Now, I don't know if that's the case, but that's what I would think. We'll figure it out. And now to the ice shrine stuff. Oh, seems like they died a lot of them here. How did they all end up like this? Like just bones? I guess we'll figure that out throughout, but. It all seems like it happens so suddenly. Like they were doing their daily life here. Pop broke because they were holding it and they just fell and died. Do you like... Do I like dragons because of my old name? Uh, back then, yes. <laughs> um, damn, that is a long time ago. Uh, I think it was Dragonfire 361, so out of my head. What will use to be my old, old username. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything exists before that, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the ice signal? From the ice signal, we are able to determine the ice approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. And lone lupus, yes. That's true, yeah. Uh, that was in my Latin phase when I like Latin a lot, and I was on my edgy side. <laughs> Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't know yet. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. The signal is call. It's a call. Where are we, the intended audience? What is the eyes of the universe? The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Probably should put a step closer. Suppose the eye is more advanced being. The eye is older than this universe. So imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Be welcome in the place. The shrine is the space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal for the eye. We observe the eye's signal in our travels. The eye is got. It could technically be, yeah, I guess. It was before the universe there. Maybe it might be the reason of creation of the universe. But we'll figure that out. Wait. We observe the eye signal in our travels and follow it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. 
either enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Your countless possibilities. Oh, okay, this is just... Oh, I see a record thing. I imagine... I've been hard on poke. Again... This is in... This in turn means I've made things difficult for her. For her sister. If poke and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. He certainly makes us better. To me, it certainly makes us a better team than who mix to shake. Although sometimes I would like to shake poke. <laughs> Jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologize at least to Clary, who who then felt poke. Okay. Okay, that was everything about this part. Now the question is, how do we get up there? If we even can. Almost looks like there's a... Entrance point right here. Uh, we already did this. Or never mind, I just saw it wrong. There we go, let's get as high as possible. Maybe I see something that... Nope, I don't think I missed anything. I guess that's where that... Uh, how do I do that again? There. Photo mode. Yeah. I'll go down here. This is all fine. I can go there. Oh. Guess I go down. Ghost metal detected. Let's see what's over here. I think I've, I've been out here already, but I want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Uh, seems like I've seen everything here. Oh. Um. Hmm. And where to next? If I can't get up there, then... Maybe I have to wait until something crashes specifically. Even though I don't think anything crashes here. Hmm. Maybe we need a teleporter. Could that be it? Wait, could it be as simple as... Going to the... Was this the control? Or was the control lower? Not water district, school district, high district, black hole forge. There it was, yeah, here. I mean, I can at least try to jump in it. Worst case, I'm going to... The teleport station. I missed. Okay, now I'm stuck here. What was that? Oh, those are the gravitational pools. Oh, so that means I'm basically doomed to fall in. 
Oh, this is bad. Oh! Ouch. Yeah, that must have hurt. <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> um, slow down a little bit. There we go. Boop. Big bonk. That was a big bonk. What about that side? Can I somehow enter that side? I guess there might be a possibility for it. But... Boop. We know what to do. We know the drill. Put you in one of these two holes. Go up as fast as we can. We don't accidentally miss it. There we go. And... Whoop. Easy peasy. And we're even back near our ship so we can heal and refuel. Heal and refuel. And the question is, if I can't do anything on the Black Forge anyways, what will our next stop be? Oh wait, I probably should read my computer. See if I discovered everything on this planet. I don't I know I don't have everything discovered on this planet, but let's see if there's still a lot to discover. Black Hole Forge, Angler Fish. That's it. Oh. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, yeah, the observatory. And preferably also the Tower of Knowledge would be nice. I guess I could also try this one. Probably missed something there. Um, yeah, observatory. That's a good one. Observe probably is on the North Pole. So that's fine. There we I'm stuck on a plant. There we go. We're going to the highest level. Oh, okay, I was already at the right. That's fine. Oh, okay, made it. A ship is better to go around the surface of the planet. Fair enough. But I just needed to find either a different entrance or... Oh! Oh, that was confusing. But then I needed to find an entrance again and I'm lazy. I needed to go here, I think. I feel like this is a bit of a central point. I'm gonna see what that other cannon shoots me at. I guess that is my best bet if I want to go there. Wait. Don't I go there? With that other cannon that I shoot? It really looks like it. I'm. Wait, did I not succeed last time? I kind of forgot what happened already. That's the downside about being as forgetful as I am. I have no clue what I already did. Boop. Yeah, I guess this one will work then, right? Because that one leads me over there. That's where I want to go. 
Oh, I forgot to pay attention again. Big thing. Go there. In. Boop. Yeah, that's a big problem. Fluffy brain. Yes, exactly. Fluffy brain. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, it definitely creates um also in other games when I'm playing solo it just creates sometimes moments where I'm like, oh why did I do that? Or why did I lose attention? And hop back up we are. But it creates funny moments as well. Sometimes annoying moments, sometimes funny moments. There we go. And up we go. And... All the way to you. We go around. Jump on you. Jump on you. I guess not this way. There we go. It was you. We could probably make this. There we go. Plant is getting pretty hollow. Oh yeah, I remember. I hit my head on that thing again. Like twice in a row. So, in other words, I need my oxygen. I'm stuck in a tree. You're kidding me. I get taken down by a tree. Like that. <laughs> and I could all jump over that tree. Not much of the planet can be destroyed. The sun is pretty red. But the sun is about to explode. Some planets also tend to open up later. On the Duke Commission. That. Property environment. Oh I should have refueled. Eh, I'm too far away. I should have enough fuel if I don't play around too much. I hope. <laughs> Specifically, I hope. Um, but yeah, this jump is really important because I'm lazy. Wait, we are falling. Oh, wait, wasn't that the observatory? Wait, does the observatory fall? I do see some debris. Um, I see something over there that might be handy. So there's a blue light. Oh, that's so confusing sometimes. Let me turn myself around. There we go. Oh, we have some text. We already went here. Oh, I think to maneuver to three-dimensional stuff is... Weird. Uh-oh. There's something over there. I'm gonna have to be careful with my fuel now. Especially now. Yeah, this is the observatory. But 
Wait, if we have time, then we can... Switch through it, right? Okay, at least we have infinite oxygen, so we can just fly around without fuel. Welcome, Sa Solamian. Your arrival here means you've completed your free preparation on Giant's Deep and are ready to departure off for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you. Just as it carries me and many of our clan before me. To the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine. Our clan built a quantum on built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Doesn't it always... Didn't they say it always goes on the south pole? Somehow we have to travel to the north pole. The gosh is on your journey. There might be a text thingy somewhere. Oh, it gets so hard sometimes to control everything. Okay, there's a text thing over here that I can grab. Anything else that I missed? I don't think there's anything else I missed. More oxygen. Align ourselves again and go down. Forward, 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 there. Boop. And space. If you are here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you, do pause and remember your history. I can't scroll down, can I? Oh, one and two and three to scroll, okay. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the member of our clan who came before us, those who after the crash that brought them to the star system, they came stranded on the Brittle Hollow on the em and on the Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Anomai looked upwards for two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting the skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during the long periods of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many know it were dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before they discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Oh, that's kind of kind of beautiful. And one of these pads. That's about it. Well, only one more way to go. And we're not going to have the oxygen to, or the jet fuel in general, to do anything, so. Oh, I missed. I'm gonna go in outer space. What is that? Oh! And there we go, we choked. With that, I'm gonna call it a night for today. Words. <laughs> um, so, the reason I'm calling it a night now 
is because I'm starting to feel really tired. And that's also because, well, of the dyslexia partially. Because reading is hard for me. So it takes more energy, so I'm starting to get tired after a while of reading. And I can feel that reading is now at a point that it's so hard that it becomes hard to think even now. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm calling it a night here today. Uh, let's see. There. I hope everybody enjoyed because I definitely did. It's a beautiful game. Incredibly beautiful. And I can't wait to play more. Um, tomorrow I'll be back with probably Terraria, I think it is, that I have on. Let me check. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here, here, schedule. Yeah, tomorrow will be Terraria. So yeah. For now, I hope everybody enjoyed because I definitely did. Um, let's see if I fix the waffle with the buys. Here we go. Waffle waves yes. her tail. Bye, everyone. See you soon. There we go. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful night. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.